Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Kelly and you're watching RC Mechanic. Uh, new year, old projects, just trying to finish some up. Uh, our, my TFL Bronco here, um, just got a few things left to do on it. Um, one uh, being, uh, you know, like <clears throat> headlights right here. I've got a window trim to put on and uh, I painted that a little different also got some wires hanging down uh, I'm not gonna bolt this body down quite yet um, but uh, I just want to show you how that's gonna turn out all right so uh, trying to get my building put back together which is uh, kind of like moving out of it and moving in moving out of it moving in several times so I had a heck of a time finding the headlights <clears throat> but uh, I did find them. They're right here. So, uh, these are pretty cool. I mean, they're, uh, they're all aluminum. So, uh, you know, they're, uh, let's see. What we got? Oh, and they're multiple piece. And they're, uh, when you, if you're doing any, if you're doing this kit, just remember there's a protective coating on the plastic here, so... If you want to be clear, you take that off. There we go. Much better. Mm. All right, so the headlights are in like three different pieces. So put the lens in. we have this piece do pretty cool we just pop this body off if we can move the car out of the way let's go ahead and uh, all you gotta do basically just screw it into the back side here so, uh, Stick it in. Just got to make sure it's in all the way. If it's not, it won't thread. There we go. Looks like it may only go one way, so it's kind of hard to believe. I mean, it's fiberglass, so most likely the hole is just off. So I'm just putting them finger tight right now. You can see that one. There we go. I'm gonna face them all the same. So it does have um, a hole on the back side. If you were uh, put an LED in um, for a holder that you could screw into it, but it did not come with the kit. But I am sure I could make something, or that I do have something around here, somewhere. Alright, kind of like that, guys. I think that looks pretty good, huh? Yeah. Alright, so let's put that back on. So I just really want to see it like that. There we are. Yeah, it looks pretty hot. All right, so I probably had the camera a little bit too close for that one. But um, I just want you all to see what that looks like. I also have the windshield frame that I painted a different color. I'm not going to mount that on here today, but I want to put it up there so you all can see what it's like. Alright, so on the windshield frame, I went with a slightly different color green. I went with this, uh, like a flat drab green. 
and it's not completely dry yet I probably should dry for a bit longer but when it's all up and on there like that that's what it's gonna look like so and I have the windshield right here so I can put that on what it needs to happen is it needs to bolt two bolts one here and one here to the uh, body so I didn't want to mount that right yet once I get that all down done then I will screw the rest of it together there's gonna be more on this uh, build but I want to at least get the build done first now I suppose you didn't really uh, want to watch me just put headlights in so I have another surprise for you just hold on all right so what we have here is the axial SCX 10 Bronco um, I've had this truck for a while <coughs> I, uh, it showed up and then um, I started tearing the building apart <laughs> so wasn't very uh, conducive to actually uh, um, doing videos when the buildings all torn apart and uh, I know I could have done it in the barn but I didn't so I wanted to do this today because I wanted to compare the size between these two trucks and I was told well if any of y'all watch YouTube as much as I do you would know that uh, a lot of people say that this here is huge and I have to agree it is huge it is absolutely huge compared to this little whoop, this little guy right here these are supposed to be both uh, one tenth scale right so um, the wheelbase we're looking is almost the same wheel wheelbase is the same I think what needs to happen if these two were to be uh, equal is that we would need to lower this truck for that and I can see why some people have been wanting to lower this one because I mean we've got tremendous body roll compared to this one not as much right <clears throat> well let me just go and put this aside here for a minute we're gonna take a closer look oh yeah uh, this bad boy is heavy all right so uh, as far as on the inside inside is uh, I mean a pretty pretty nice scale stickers in here uh, it's got a full bed inside I mean a full, full interior uh, with the spare looks like a usable spare um, headlights I don't think there's any bulbs in there let's take the body off and find out let's see what do we have to do to do that I've got a pin here pin here well, the nice thing is that the body, the body pins are uh, underneath instead of going through the hood and the, the rear of the truck. I like that part. All right. So off we go. And it looks like yes, there are lights inside. Let's see. Let's unplug this. If we can. Gonna pull on the right end. All right, so there are headlights wired in right here, right up here. The tail lights are also wired in back here. So let's take a look at that. The grill looks fairly good, but the one thing I have noticed on, I mean, they try their hardest, but on these tail lights. They're way too long. They need to be shorter. I mean, I've never named, known a Bronco would be the taillights that big, right? But I'm not going to pick. All right, so let's take a look at the rest of it. The rest of it has its uh, new uh, smart system. Uh, looks like we have. We have the speed controller and um, 
the uh, radio all in one or the receiver all in one uh, we have this capacitor it says do not remove okay I don't know what that is for I'm gonna have to read up on it um, what I do like here is that it has this is a very I mean it's a really I like that transmission I mean it looks just like a real one almost I mean it's black and well you could say greasy and dirty or something <laughs> it is two-speed I uh, do believe you can put dig in it as well let me double check that all right let me go back on that it has dig with an optional two-speed so we can put a two-speed in so there's a dig for the rear um, has a nice scale looks like a well it says it's a 5.0 so it's like a coyote 5.0 engine in here um, it is not near as heavy as the TFL racing Bronco um, but then again there's a whole lot more plastic on this thing it's full wheel wells uh, place for rock lights if you want to install them um, I even has a belt drive system in the front so I'm digging that uh, underneath here four link suspension I've never had an SCX 10 3 before and um, I already have three portal axle trucks so I didn't think I really needed another one so that's why I went with this um, and you know there's so many damn Jeeps out there so and I love Broncos I if I could find an old Bronco barn find whatever hadn't run doesn't run don't matter we will just you know tow it up you know against its will onto a trailer and haul it home I'm good with it right <clears throat> the shocks feel really good nice dampening in there I hate it when RTRs come with like no oil in the shocks this, these seem to be really nice um, so yeah good travel something wrong with this shock this shock is not happy oh came out of the perch all right now it's happy all right so <clears throat> articulation wise I mean it's pretty good huh I don't have a battery charge right now because I'm still trying to find my batteries I'd love to take it out also it's dark which I guess wouldn't make a difference if it's got lights but um, anyway uh, I just wanted to go over this um, I think it's a beautiful truck I think you're gonna really love it I actually bought two trucks at the same time I bought an SCX 10 2 as well Cherokee body version uh, two and a half months I'm still waiting on it it's on back order probably off the coast of California somewhere so um, <clears throat> I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna get all upset because it's just the way of times and I've worked parts and I work in the service industry so I know how it is anyway so uh, if you guys have one of these Broncos uh, you know uh, tell me how you like it um, I can't wait to get it out I might have to get a battery charge uh, obviously but um, tell me how you like it is there anything you would change on it things like that I do like the uh, the wheels right here I wish they were aluminum I think this could usually really use some weight down low but that's okay and the knockoffs are kind of a interesting touch but um, yeah if uh, any of you guys have one of these tell me how you like it I picked white because well I don't have a white truck right now and uh, the you know they always do Broncos and blue and I just don't want another blue one as you can see I painted the TFL racing Bronco uh, green so that's like my favorite color anyway if you guys like this let me know let me put the other one back here again we'll put them side by side all right there it is uh, TFL racing Bronco axial Bronco 
let me what let me know what y'all think of this one um i haven't i got this running i haven't run it yet because i'm still working on body there's that piece that broke off in the floor back here since i moved things around i cannot find it but i will find it because i want to glue that back in um never get that we're going to get this finalized so we can uh, go play with it before i go changing other stuff all right so let me know what you think of this um we're gonna run this one here soon we're gonna run that one here soon maybe you run them head to head what do you think leave a comment below this uh rc mechanic keep building keep fixing i'll see you next time and remember to subscribe and like if you like this video